Uh, ready to roll. Yeah, ready to roll. Okay, All right, so students, this is bursitis. This is prepatellar bursitis. Prepatellar bursitis is a, a swelling over the patella. Patella is right over here. If I push hard, you'll, you'll feel the patella, but here's the patella. In contrast to a effusion, a effusion of the knee occurs when you have an ACL tear, meniscus tear, or arthritic conditions within the joint. When you have an effusion, this is where it gets swollen. This would be bubbling up right over here, right there. But see, bone dry, fluctuant, and it makes sense because this, this gentleman here sustained trauma to the anterior knee, the front of the knee gets swollen, and you see how it's well demarcated? It doesn't go there. It doesn't go to this area. In some cases it can, but, but usually it doesn't because the bursa is confined to this area. So this is what we're gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna do a little aspiration. I already numbed it up a little bit. This is how we do it. Is it okay if I record the aspiration so I can see? I'm gonna guess it's bloody. I'm gonna guess it's bloody. Now, if it's a regular effusion, uh, a knee effusion, it's normal, ye normally yellowish because joint fluid is yellowish. But this is not joint fluid, so you have to remember it's not joint fluid. It's already numbed it up a little bit, a little baby poke. Shake just to distract. And it is red because that's what ex is expected. This is called a traumatic prepatella bursitis. And uh, the treatment in this particular case is going to be remove the, the fluid just for, uh, for comfort purposes, but also to allow the skin to come back down back to its normal, normal form. Because believe it or not, if it's left like this for a long time, the skin actually expands and it gets used to being big or expanded, like a tissue expander. So we remove the fluid, apply compression wrap, and limit activities. Maybe, you know, try to limit activities. I would not recommend a bike a cycling or running because uh, it, it, the friction will, will mm -hmm. recreate this type of swelling again. You see, patella is mm -hmm. back now. And one thing that can happen to these folks is the tissue, this bursa tissue that does exist, there is tissue there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it becomes nodular and hopefully it doesn't, I'm kind of feeling to see if there's any knots. No, not yet. I don't feel any, so we're gonna keep an eye on that. Okay, so anyways, just wanted to let people know what uh, the difference was between a, a joint effusion versus prepatella bursitis swelling, okay? Two very different pathologies very different compartments, very different appearance. Okay, you guys take care. This is Dr. Moore bringing you more cutting edge orthopedic surgery. Thank you.